Okay, in this video, we're going to answer a viewer question. The question was, can I cut through floors with a void command? And the answer is yes. And this is where we're going to end up. I recommend doing this if you have a complicated shape that you're trying to cut through, like one that lofts from one shape into another going through your floors in your building. Now, you're going to see that this is kind of an atypical way to go about making floors, but it is the best way to do it if you have complicated geometry going on. Um, I could also see this void being a good way to make a nice geometric atrium. Um, you could use it for a stairwell as well, uh, but typically those are going to be more rectangular in nature, and that might be best just doing a sketch as you make your floor to make your cutouts. Uh, if you want a video on that, just send me a message later or leave a comment, and I'd be more than happy to just show a video on sketching your floor cutouts for stairs. So looking over at our plans, we're going to... Um, go to level one and we're going to create some geometry in a new file and then we're going to create a level three four five to then help loft up to a different shape and then we'll do a void cutout so I'm just going to go over to file and I'm going to go to new project and for new project I'm going to choose an architectural template and say OK now that I have my new file open Let's first add those levels like we were talking about. So I'm going to go over to my east elevation. I'm going to click on the level icon, which was underneath the architecture tab. I'm going to go up and I'm going to make these about 10 feet apart. And I can actually type in the spacing uh, after I create these. It's, I find it to be a little bit faster to do it that way. So I'm just going to be snapping over from the left to the right, clicking on these and just typing in my spacing as we go. And this can be done after the fact as well. Did that move? I should have done this from the bottom up. Let's try that again. Eee. Whatever is in blue is the, is the one that's moving. So, you know, if I type this at 10 feet, I want this line to move. I have to have that line highlighted. That's just a little something for everybody to, uh, to remember. It's been a while since I've done a video. You can see I've gotten a little rusty. Okay, so now I have my 10 foot spacing throughout. Let's go over to the level one. And here we're going to then go to the massing and site tab. And this is the tab to be in. We're going to do in place mass. This is the tab to be in if you uh, want to create some kind of organic shapes in Revit. Otherwise, Revit is not the best for that kind of stuff. As I create my polygon, you can change the number of sides up here, offset from where you're clicking. But then notice that we're associating this to level one right now. I'm going to go over and let's loft this into a circle. And I'm going to make the circle a little bit kind of off-centered and overlapped. And this circle here, I'm going to make that go to level 5. And now that I'm in level 5, let's go to our 3D view by clicking up at the uh, house icon up here at the top. And we can see that I've offset to level 5. Highlight both and say create form, drop down menu, solid form. Now that we see this shape, let's take a look at it in realistic which means that this will assign any kind of material property to this if I so chose to. All right, now that we have this, we can say finish mass. When you click on your mass, let's go to edit in place. And let's go over to level one and let's draw on our uh, kind of like what we want our bottom of our atrium to look like. I'm going to draw that on there. And then for level two, or level five, let's say we want it to also be circular at the top. And so I'm just going to go and draw that on. We can show this and draw it in 3D view if you would like. It's a little bit easier. I'm going to change this to level five. Let's just look at it straight from the top. And I can go and I can draw this in then too. All right, now to do my void, all I have to do is hit escape on my keypad. So I deselect the drawing tools. Click once on the 2D geometry we just drew. Hold down control, click again to select both of them. Say create form, void form. And now we have our lofted cutout going through our shape. Say finish mass. Now select our mass. We can say mass floors. Which floors do we want? It's going to assign a floor to each level. Say OK. And then now we've created some cool floors on our building. 
You can do the same thing with uh, the outside. You can do a curtain wall on a mass under massing in sight. You know, we could then mass a roof uh, and that will give roof properties. Right here is a basic generic roof. It's not we have a roof created. And we can quickly create a, uh, a building here just using these different elements. I can mass my walls. We can do a curtain wall by mass. Um, we can do this by the side. And once again, properties are here. Um, it's a little bit difficult to put in windows or anything like that in something um, that's a mass wall on a sloped angle. Um, but it's good for, you know, a curtain wall would be a good way to do that to represent a window that's on a slant. Let's go back to massing in sight, curtain wall system. Let's put that around this edge of the building. And you can change the type of system and the color of the glass and all that. Create system. And here we go. We've now created a void cut out for the floors that's lofted with the roof and wall system uh, for our building here in Revit. Thanks. Don't forget to save and subscribe.